This is the competition then for the bronze medal in the women's sprint. We're looking here at Victoria Pendleton and she has got as her opponent Olga Panarina of Belarus. So Pendleton will not want to go away from this arena without a medal. Very similar position to, uh, to Chris Hoy. Got to fight all the way to the end. Not the position that uh, either of them wanted to find themselves in, but uh, this is as it is. You've got to make the best of the situation. But never discount Victoria Pendleton. She'll uh, have a rest after this and then start to prepare for the next big international spring competition. As a matter of interest, when she was world champion in Los Angeles 2005, the next year she was beaten by Chilin Sky of Belarus. So she knows how to bounce back. You can always judge, of course, the quality of an athlete by how high they bounce after they've hit rock bottom. Bronze is hardly rock bottom, but it would be the lowest position to finish in the Worlds for Pendleton. She'll come back. Well, Panarina's not going to be easy to beat. She's having a fantastic World Championships, already taken gold, and uh, she knows she's got nothing to lose, so she's full of fight. That goal coming in the uh, time trial for Panarina. She's never hit the podium in the sprint. Fourth was the best place for her in Manchester 2008 when we first spotted her. Now then, let's have a look at this. Pendleton going from the front and beginning to ignite the burners here. Let's have a look at uh, Panarina. Never discounted. She's a very, very strong, determined finisher. Closing up, but no, Pendleton takes it. Pendleton then draws the uh, first blood there in the contest for bronze. She's one up. Well, maybe... Uh tactically not the best we've ever seen it we saw her uh, literally re lead out Panarina and she took advantage but in the end Pendleton just managing to get there it's close she, though yep she rode Panarina correctly there slightly inexperienced Panarina but very strong so Pendleton's one up now then this is the final race uh, one between Anna Mears on the inside looking to try and nail that elusive gold medal in the sprint and her uh, opponent here is Simona Krupa-Kaita of Lithuania, who is the current world record holder for the 200 metres and the 500 metres. But Krupa-Kaita, uh, just like uh, Mears, has never managed to win this title, although she has been in the silver medal position. So you're looking at two athletes here who at long last are going to achieve the stripes of being the World Sprint Champion. Well, they've been around at the pointed end for so long. It's uh, not surprising their opportunity has come along. Anna Mears is uh, possibly in the best form, I think, that we've ever seen her. Incredibly focused. You can see it in uh, the way that she's riding. Absolutely desperate to get this sprint title. Well, she's beaten Pendleton, remember, in the semi-finals. And uh, Krupa Kaita got the better of Panarina. Just so powerful, Mears. It was her older sister, actually, that uh, we saw first on the scene, winning medals, gold medals, in fact, in the Commonwealth Games. But then Anna, her younger sister, took over. Probably the most successful uh, woman cyclist from Australia ever, I would say, on the track. Now then, Mia's leading this one out. What can Krupa Kaita offer? She is very, very powerful and determined. Mears will be aware of that, and it's Mears taking it on from the front here. What kind of a challenge can Krupa Kaita offer? Well, not much. That was pretty easy. I think it's very, very deceptive that uh, Anna Mears' acceleration in the saddle, it makes it look like she's not doing anything at all, but she's actually accelerating really hard, and uh, at the form she's got at the moment, it's hard to say who could touch her. I think tactically uh, she outwitted her opponent there. I mean, Krupa Kaita never really delivered, did she? So Mears is one up in her quest to get gold. There we are, you see the green marker against Pendleton, she's one up in the uh, competition for the bronze medal. Panarina very, very strong, but just to reiterate my comment in race one, she doesn't have the experience of Pendleton. She doesn't, she's got uh, youthful talent, and she's already shown that this week with that world title, early on in the 500 metre time trial. But, uh, I think... Uh, Victoria Pendleton should have the measure of it. I don't think it was the best tactics perhaps in the uh, in the last round. She just uh, wanted to get it over with and it just about paid off for Victoria Pendleton. But uh, I think uh, Anna Rina's to be underestimated. Fully concentrated now, Pendleton. 
She wants to add this bronze medal to the silver she's got from the team sprint. And by the same token, Panarina would like to add the bronze medal to the gold she's got from the 500. Now then, standstill situation. Well, growing in confidence, Panarina here. Trying to force the world champion uh, to the front position, but she doesn't win, so that little tussle has uh, gone in favour of the British sprinter. That's exactly what happened uh, in the previous round with Mears, and maybe that's what she saw. She said, well, I'll try and force her to the front as well, but not this time. Let's not forget as well, Pendleton's still got one more event to have a crack at, and that's the women's Kieran. And she's been a world champion at that. So she's still got a chance of going away from these uh, championships with a gold medal. Now then, beginning to wind it up now. They'll soon hear the bell. Panarina is going to lead it out. So, it's a reverse tactic of uh, race one. And as I say that, it changes completely. And now we've got the same situation again. So, it's Pendleton on the front. Already one up. Now then, can Panarina close the gap? Exactly a carbon copy of race one. That perhaps the winning margin slightly bigger. Pendleton wins 2 0 and she gets awesome the bronze medal. It will be. And if you've got excited about what you've seen here, it probably is about time that you should get excited and maybe even book your ticket for London 2012. 489 days to go. So there we are, Pendleton acknowledging uh, Panarina. Or Panarina's efforts, but the victor. Victoria Pendleton, another chance to look at it. Well, that was the move, really. She kept her height for as long as possible, and yes, she did lead it out, but it was preceded by being able to use the banking to accelerate down, and that time she had the advantage. So there we are, Pendleton approaching the line. 2-0, her winning margin over Panarina. She gets the bronze medal. Well... Riding it well at the moment. We're into the, the women's sprint final, to try and race two. To try and, and there Mears, on the left of the Mears. screen is Anna Mears, who actually, I think, just completely demoralised Krupa Kaiser. Krupa Kaiser just didn't turn up. It was not a real full-on sprint, and that's why she's won up. Well, it's going to be an interesting match, this one. I think uh, Mears is stronger, both tactically and physically. She's just overawed by Mia's uh, reputation and the form she's got. Krupa Kaita does have the ability to take this to a decider. Mia's has hardly put a foot wrong tactically so far in this competition. So Mia Silver in this came right back in 2004 in her own country in Melbourne when she was beat to the goal by Jeff, Grand Kaskaya of Jeff Russia. Just unfortunately didn't. So, uh, is it going to be the goal this time? Krupa Kaita's last silver came in 2008 when she was pipped by Pendleton. So, still at the front, Krupa Kaita and uh, Mears just in the second position. That's exactly where I think she's happy to be. Riding very close, she likes to ride close, she's a uh, tactic that's worked well for her all through this competition. You can see she's keeping her height there, Hugh, as long as possible. Both the specialists for the 500 metres, so really Krupa Kaita's best tactic here is to go full on for a complete lap. But you can see that Mears is trying to deny Krupa Kaita the opportunity to lead out, but she's lost that little contest. Now then, Mears looking to nail the world title, and Krupa Kaita is being stretched to the limit here, and she's not going to match Mears. Mears gives the victory salute and wins the world title 2 0 straight. So Anna Mears is the world sprint champion. Krupa Kaita is the winner of the silver, and the bronze is won by Victoria Pendleton.